Hello, oh my god, that's what she said. Find me. Right, hello everybody, welcome to Welcome to the round of 64 match between Elyod and Tech9, Elyod's Dwarves, Tech 19's Undead. In the booth with me is Kalon and he's coming. It's Fymir. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. I'm here. Well done. What perfect timing is that? Glory, that was a fast one. <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> Wait. Uh, what yeah, did you say about already done with the peaks? What peaks? Uh, we were just looking at uh, uh, Jimmy's penis. Ah, all right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So yes, I write you up from time. Perfect. Yeah. In yeah. Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, in oh, Minecraft yes, as well. Yes, in Minecraft. Yeah. I love how it's a disclaimer for people saying in Minecraft, but this actually is the one in Minecraft. <laughs> right. So. Yep. Definitely. Let's Definitely. let's look Definitely. at the teams. We've got an Ash five ghoul, which is basically unstoppable on defense. So Elliot yes. has to not think about screening this guy at all because he can't screen him. Um, we've got a mighty blow blitzer. We've got a couple of guard mummies. Not a lot to this team. Does he have a wizard? I guess he must do. So he did mm -hmm. not have the wizard because prior to the game, Elliot decided to fire his um, troll slayer. Wow. Yeah, and a very aggressive early ap apothecary right there meant that. Oh, so yeah, he fired that, and it stopped um, Techie Nineteen from being able to fire too many extras uh, of other things, uh, which would have left him in. Um, uh, so he was never going to be able to fire stuff and not keep the and, and not get uh, not get the wizard. Mm -hmm. uh, so pretty classily done by Eliad to make sure that he wasn't getting the wizard because. Uh, he's very aware of the fact that that is indeed an agility 5 ghoul that you pointed out and yeah. an agility 5 ghoul plus a wizard equals a win. How does he not have a wizard though? Elliot has all these strength ups. He's got like well, he's got three strength ups and an add job and he's got a roller and what a roller, yeah. How is he well, not getting a wizard? Because they're dwarfs and he's only got two rerolls <sighs> and bonkers, you know yeah, but dwarves are just ridiculously TV efficient, right? Hmm. That's that's really crazy. Whew. So getting a bit beaten up here as well. Uh, doing nothing back. Only got the one hit. Did manage to get the roller shoved on top of the. Um, uh, did manage to get the roller shoved on top of the both of the mummies though. Mm. So that's pretty great news. Neither of those mummies having uh, break tackle means that unless they can get a lucky hit, they're going to be stuck there for the rest of the day. Mm. How greedy was that, by the way, doing the one D blitz so he can foul? That was really yeah. crazy. I hated that. But then I guess if you think you're that much of an underdog, then it makes sense. To 100%. Do, but. but he's already stunned and these thick skulls, so dude, yes. just 2D him. <laughs> well, he's one of three strength four dwarfs that Elliot has, and Elliot did as well apo a badly hurt guard uh, turn one. Mm. So there's no apo left, so the value of that foul has increased quite considerably. So uh, I agree with you in general, but uh, I do think that there's probably uh, keeping the pressure on is probably good. Mm. So, pretty nice chain here to be able to get his guy out of danger. And he does exactly that. Yeah. An easy days for Elliot 2. No, no, it's not the same as oh, Elliot. Yeah, it's not uh, Elliot. Yeah, it's, it's Elliot not. Two. It's Elliot 2. Yeah. Two, so, you know, a new coach, level 16. He is. Level 16. Place. I mean, he's doing pretty well to get himself into Chalice on his first run on a level 16 coach. Mm. Yes, Elliot one casted a lot of the games of Elliot two, whoever this person is. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's probably one of the reasons that he did so well uh, in his first season is because he's he's been under the tutelage of uh, of Elliot. Ah, yes. Um, well, we all saw what what happens in Rebel when a new player gets gets advices indeed. from a veteran. Yep. So it's we have uh, it's just Elliot in a wig, basically. <laughs> yeah. Elliot yeah, totally maybe. should have streamed Elliot's two play of games as like a fucking wig, wig on a mop. That's a really good idea. I, I know that he's probably watching this and going like, I definitely should have done that. Because he would as well. He would totally have done 100%, 100%, that. 100%, 100%. Yeah. For the next, for the next uh, game. The next, the next team he, he manages to get through. Yeah, Look he gets through for the next one. Cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, it goes for the five up uh, dodge off, because why not? Yeah, at least it splits up the mummies. So. Exactly, yeah. It forces the roller into having to do something as well if he decides to get up on him and probably have to break away here. Um, there's dice on the ball. Is there? Um, if he's, if he was, could he, he could he have set up a chain? He could have, he could have blocked with him, brought mm -hmm. a guy in. 
and where he was there, so he could have gone yeah. there, there, and you'd have to have a yeah. player here. One, so you'd have to power him, one, two, three, four, five, six, double G, so you'd have to power him, double GFI yeah, with the runner. get into there. GFI yeah. with him, then he could have blocked him and chained him onto and there. And then he would have been onto there, and then he could just... And that still wouldn't have been it, that still wouldn't have been it. No, because it's still, still a dodge there's, in. There's this, there's this one as well, so yeah, no, yeah. it was no chain. But there nearly was a chain. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, worth worth having a look at. Yeah. We have was. the technology. Yes, it was worth looking at, yeah. Yeah, because obviously, if he could, if that could, if that, if this guy had been like one square up, and mm -hmm. um, then that would have been worth thinking about. Going to try and jam the sideline as best he can, I guess. So string four not getting the hit on this guy is going to go for the GFI to keep this guy shoved on the board. Unfortunate, there's a lot of dice yet to come. That's uh, pretty early for that one. Now he's going to be a bit safer, maybe. Wow, yeah. the edge four is in. Yeah. Got a GFI with him. Yeah, yeah, he had to GFI yeah. with him. Had to. It looks like he's going to have to, well, yeah, he has to get tackle on this ghoul at the back, right? And there's nobody there to do it. Ooh, break tackle. <sighs> so nice to get him there, but he needs this double GFI. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all things considered, not terrible. Yeah. It's yeah, uh, in, a bit of, in a small bit of bother there as well. I mean, he can just two plus back, can't he? Which yeah, he has to. Do. He has to two plus back, and of course, uh, using the blitz here and the juggernaut doing work for him as well. Um, the juggernaut piece is pretty handy. It's a great skill, jugs. Uh, I, I know. Ooh, ooh, we rolled a one. Here we time. go, boys. He also dodged there instead of there, right? Maybe there would have been better yep. in case of the fail. In case of the fail, yeah. Even better if uh, it was in the new rules and he had a safe pair of hands. What an amazing <laughs> skill that is. Yeah. Yeah. The, the literal, the literal worst skill in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's up there with running pass. I, I don't it's, know which one. It's up there. Worse. Yeah, it's up there. Yeah, and not having tackle on that guy meant that this ghoul does get free as well. And uh, can't get too far away, but it does kind of split out some of the central defense. He does have to drop a dwarf on him, and the only available one is that guard one, so... No. I think it's looking good for Elliot. I mean, always going to the, the undead come through. Mm. The problem is that he's got to get the ball right because he can't just screen. Because like, yeah. cause this guy's edge five, so you can't screen against him. You have to make something happen. So while it is looking pretty good, he's got to make something happen, which is hard for dwarves because you can then overcommit. So it, it is tricky. He's got so the you one. Can go D. in here, yeah. Oh, no, he's got the one D. D. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that's. But he hasn't got tackle, has he? So. No, and he's got this other beard as well. He can bring up behind and land the beard on him. So I suppose the lack of tackle on that blitzer hit meant that he opted instead to go for the two D on the other on the killer. Yep. There you go. Now the. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. okay, that's a... That's what I think of your fucking tackle, buddy. <laughs> Cheers! <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> fucking edge five. Yeah, there's going to be a bit of a breakdown here as well, if he can get it. Surprised at the lack of follow there. Oh, no, he would have left the weak corner there, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Also, yeah. stay just uh, stay flat as well for these dwarves coming in, and he can protect that. Oof, this okay. Is, uh... Oh no, he's got that guy. Good, he gets to. Yeah, so he can uh, blitz off with this on a on a one D, yeah. Yeah, he's loving this juggernaut, Finally. isn't he? The jugs is really key. Oof. And there you go. There you go. Huge cast. That's Huge. massive. Jesus. Diced. Yeah, absolutely massive. One of the strength fours, one of the stand firms. I mean, badly hurt is fine because he's back next game, but Jesus, that's a big loss. I don't like this. I much, I much preferred charge. putting the guard in. Oh, was this a GFI? Maybe if this was a GFI yeah. to hit, then I guess then this was better. But still, I think he's going to just he's, he's going to take this guy back up to the top. Yeah, he just wanted to make sure he was hitting. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, mm. I guess that ends up the same. Mm. I'll let him off. Oh, God, he's not bad at blood <laughs> balls, is he? He's, he's all right. Elliot too is an, uh, his new coach. Yeah, he's you only know, new. Some rookie. There you go. Uh, challenge nerves. <laughs> <laughs> In the first time Elliot 2 qualifies for uh, Chalice. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, that's that's like my roller every time I made a two dice block with him. It was an instant one in nine. Just like every time it's not 3D. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Well, at least broke armor of the mummy, so... Yeah, I mean, the yeah. stun's not bad. Uh, that's that's him up for basically the rest of the game. Yeah. Well, half. And, problem, uh, problem is... Uh, sorry, half, yeah, half. Now the undead are very easy to take over the left side. Yeah, and it's basically the rollout for the rest of the game, right? Because he can stand up and then he can move, so he's only got one more move with the roller left now. Mm. Um, tricky. Pretty, um, pretty oh, wait, I down. push there. It's not on me, Saturday. Sometimes you've got to hit strength 5 guys or strength 6 guys. <laughs> mm. I would have taken that block every day of the week. I mean, 2D gonna, versus a mummy. Uh... He's going to blitz the guard off here. Um, take the three dice, they're, they're three plus as well. Ooh, Ooh. Gets, gets, gets caught by the tackle. No, doesn't use his reroll. It's his last one, yeah, so I can't. No. He, well, he could. He can uh, free up the roller and then double GFI in, but then he's might, he's probably got to, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he might, even take the, he might even take the wrestle hit just to get him down so you can get the guy free. Oh my god, wow, he's blitzing with a roller. Mm, I'm not sure about that. I mean, the KO's obviously nice, but can he get can he get himself back around the corner now? He's only three moves left. No, right? he can't do anything, but it, it was, he just did it to free up the strength four, like the strength ah, okay. four beard. But I would have rather blocked with the strength four beard yeah, than block somebody with the... else. But then I yeah, guess 100%. this works. Hmm. Problem is, like, screening isn't good enough, so like... No, no it isn't. So I'd want, I'd, I would literally have double GFI'd with a roller to just get him in so he could 3D the ghoul next turn, hopefully. <laughs> and just get the fuck away from that mummy. Because this is just not... <clears throat> I think it might be good I mean, enough, but it's just hard like, for it to be good enough because he's edge 5. <laughs> yeah, he's edge 5, yeah. I mean, he's... It's pretty good. It's a good formation. It's very good. It's the, the the thing is not necessarily to make him have to take a dodge. It's to ha make him have to take like four or five dodges is the best way to deal with the agility right i mean the best but, way to um, deal with him is put him on the put it, him on his ass yeah because you can't you can't him. you yeah, can't no, rely no. on him failing a roll you just because no. he won't <laughs> he won't yeah yeah once you've played blood ball you know you know that he ain't fucking failing a dodge mm -hmm. you know edge five do not fail dodges unless it's your player <laughs> They, I mean, tend he, to, they tend to fail to pick him, up the ball uh, a lot. Yeah. Roll lights. You know, he has oh, to do triple ass dodge. Yeah. He's gone for this. Yeah, he couldn't couldn't stall, could he? I guess he had all this stuff. No. He's better off. Ooh. I think he, he probably should have played it so that he could stall, but... Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't just stand one behind the runner, right? Mm. Oh, he's going to just throw this 3 plus off. Oh, and he's tied him there like that. Okay. Yeah, but I would have probably rather than parked one outside of the runner to make that dodge harder, surely? Oh no, he would have been in range of these guys. Yeah, yeah, I would have just played the total turn differently. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Probably. So, dodge off here, needs the six, and throw a reroll. Gets him! This. Oh, gets him! Wow. Gets the stun! Mmm. Oily nice. <laughs> and oh, and he just shoves it. him in the corner. I mean, past turn, the undead has to do the 3 plus dodge with the whites. Yeah. Two block less blocks, there were two one in nines. Dude, I would not, not have taken that hit. I would have taken the hit on the other guy instead because he's yeah, just made his juggernaut free. And that, that's yeah. The, yeah, so the juggernaut can just take a 3 plus off here and surf that guy, right? Yes. Yep, he's very surfable. So you just dodge the ghoul down and stand yep. in the end zone. Yeah. Yep. And, and then, then you've got surf. a score canoring threat as well. Ex yes. Ooh. Yeah, block Does get rid of your more reactive player with this guy, but I hate I this still block. This block is irrelevant. It really Only is because yeah. he could have he could have been picking up the ball to score, like to pass or whatever. Oh god, he's punching! Oh, he's he's what just not hell? going for this. I have no idea. That's insane! Like he'd cleared the he'd cleared the tackle off yeah. him. So you go there and like even if you're not going to score, you're getting to serve his bloody ball carrier. Yeah, that's I don't know. He must not have seen it, right? Yeah, must not have done. Chalice knows. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this is his first time in Chalice as well, uh, right? Techie 19. Mm, probably. So, um, Don't recognise yeah, so. the name. 
No, I recognize him from chat, um, but uh, I've never seen him play before. So that could that could be it. Um, so, for those uh, wondering, I think the play was uh, moving the goal to the touchdown uh, area. Please, with you now, the, the beard and serve the yeah. the ball carrier. Yeah, yeah yes, sure, definitely. Uh, you know, it was a little bit complicated. Um, does get another go on this guy, thankfully, because it'd be a really nice guy to get rid of. Yeah, nothing yeah. doing. And take the two dice because you might as well because he's about to get sent off anyway. Oh, 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 that's pretty nice. That could be massive if, if that could be if it stays huge. out. If that guy stays out, that's wow. Undead become a shit human team if, if they're down oh, on mummy. You're like really bad, yeah. Just trying to get a throw off, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. Hook it to the blitzer. Throw an old reroll in. No reason not to get an old SPP. Well, no, he's woke up, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I kind of hate that spoiler. The... Yeah, it's mind. an annoying spoiler, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah. Hey, in case anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, you could see the two mummies walking off to the dressing room, so you know that they've woken up. If uh, if there was only yes, one mummy walking off the... to the dressing room, he would still have been knocked out. In the animations, you can yeah. see uh, who's left. So look, one one or nil all on uh, the on dead drive is pretty good. Uh, obviously, being down the roller is horrendous. Being down that really nice chorf is horrendous. But he's still got ten. Mm. Um, and, and do you know what? I'm sorry. It's, it's funny that he didn't make the second GFI, right? He didn't have a reroll, but of course he's one in six to fail the GFI. Whereas Elliot hitting him is like about fifty percent to knock him down, isn't it? So like you know all this yes. thing about like oh make your opponent roll the make the rolls is fucking stupid at us sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the times where he had to just make that GFI. He could not yes, rely on make make him make George. rolls harder than yours, not yeah. easier than uh, you know. Yeah. Mm. Much harder, you know, with a... Uh, and... But... Mm. What I'm not sure is about the Elliot to uh, Apo on the guard beard on the first turn. Yeah, yeah I, it was very early. I, I think the reasoning was uh, he thought that he was going to score early and if he didn't have... Because uh, he immediately goes down the roller, so he's down to 11 straight away. Well, uh, could be, yeah. So if he, if he Apo's that guy it, and your man scores early, he can... There's a chance he still gets the. Oh no, he doesn't because he doesn't even have a bribe. No. Yeah, so no, I actually, sorry, I don't know. Just wanted numbers, didn't he? Like he hasn't got yeah, that he many just, players. He just wants numbers, so. Yeah, because he fired the uh, slayer. I mean, also the undead are not as deadly. They have. A... I mean, this is it. Yeah. Three yeah. mighty blow. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's all. It was a one die power as well that took out the uh, three Yes, it was but, you know, final, it's a the, ball, it happens, right? It was like the third time that the Juggernaut piece was hitting someone with a uh, one die. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Maximum tilt blitzing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it happens, right? It's a blood ball. Like, yeah. you know, we've all lost a, a, a black orc to a snotling or some equal such story, you know? It's, it's bound to happen 100% chance at some point you uh, right. lose a player for some stupid thing. It's just, it's just absolutely stupid. It's thing. just yeah, a matter exactly. of time. Correct. I once uh, stabbed a death roller to death with a Dark Elf Assassin. Nice. Yeah, absolutely stupid. Um, absolutely ridiculous. And that's, you know, one of the a really good lesson to learn <laughs> is that something that ridiculously stupid can happen in a game of bubble. So, I mean, you know. It's just dice, right? Mm. This is quite um, good defense. Just make the center really strong because dwarves yeah. and go down the sideline is pretty shit for the dwarves. It's really shit, yeah. Because he has to kind of, I mean, he has to kind of recentralize over there anyway. Can get this one blitz off thanks to the strength four, but does not want to commit any of this stuff. Yeah, also the, the undead are also very slow. Hmm. You know, they have, uh, okay, the ghouls and the white, but oh, cool. the rest of the team is like, uh, you know, wheelchair material. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was wondering what the extra move there was. It's because he wants to dodge the, uh, dodge this guy out. Way! Cheeky four plus. Yeah, another power from this juggernaut guy. <laughs> he's, he's on a roll, isn't he? Yeah. 
Yeah, lovely piece. Uh, Juggernaut is a skill that a low TV doesn't shine much, but at a high TV is really, really powerful because there's going to be a lot of stand firm, wrestle, yep. a lot of stuff. So yeah, I like a lot. Uh, maybe not before getting tackled, you know? The, <laughs> get yeah, tackled indeed. Yep. The Juggernaut, but... Yeah, indeed. Um, but you know, a lot of people go. It's the it's a the the skill ordering is kind of interesting as well because he went guard first, right? And guard on the other guy. Maybe the other guy was a was a proper killer, and uh, this maybe, guy yeah. ended up going the other way afterwards because he didn't need it because the other guy was mighty blow and tackle and piling on or something. Yeah. So this was his support blitzer yeah, who went like that, and then the other guy died and got got up to guard for for chalice, which is acceptable. Yeah. I really appreciate you putting the extra effort into not just say yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool star surf on here? Uh, not really. No. I mean, there is with the agility five lad if he wants to come through, but uh, no, not really. No. No. No, it's fine. This isn't Blood Bowl no. 1, no, like 34, only if only there was. Is this going to kicks? I mean, it might do because. It looks pretty likely at the moment, yep. Yeah. yeah, like obviously Elliot loses a lot of power, losing the roller here. So this mm -hmm. this team's a lot worse than it was in the first half. He's lost the strength up guy with guard yeah. stand firm, so he's lost a lot of, of on field power. Um, but, you know, you can still bang it in. Still. You can still bang it in and win 1 0. It's going to be tricky. Uh, it looks like he is going to tease down this side, though. Yeah. And see if he can drag some more guys over. The mummies are quite spread out, so maybe that's the plan overall. Is I to... think they're just going to keep doing the blitz and moving away until something happens one way or the other. Yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, Tech 9 hasn't done anything good. He hasn't really done anything bad, but he also hasn't really done anything impressive yet, so I wouldn't... Yeah. I would still be banking on Elliot to make something happen here. Yeah, I think so. Overall. You know, just because Elliot's great. Mm. No, offense he is, yeah, no offense to. Team. Of course not. No, but Elliot is Elliot. Mm. He's an exceptional player. Only guy to have qualified every race, right? Yes. yes. Ooh, and interesting the push. And mm. the dwarves are a very mm. good uh, team. I mean, they have lots of guard, strength, IG4, so. You know, if yeah. they need to push wildly, they can. Yes. Yeah. So his, his dirty yeah. player was KO'd. His dirty player is KO'd. I Still, he's got him spare zombies, for, right? Yeah, yeah they, I mean, the guy on the ground could have just stood up and yeah. minus one. Yeah. Get a few, but I guess he. I guess nil nil. He's got to stop the score, hasn't he? So I guess he can't do a frivolous foul as much as he'd like to. Yeah. Oh, now he's banging Ooh. on. Looks like he's, uh, he's decided this is the turn to go in. Mm. I mean, he can leave uh, the mummy and the zombie there more or less out of the play. Yeah. Looks like the blitz is going to be the strength four off the ground, right? Yeah. Yes, on the yeah. mummy. Hmm. Oh, I'm under Blood Bowl. I've done that before. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I didn't do it intentionally. I've literally done that before. What are you under? I'm oh, there's your Blood, blood, blood Bowl 1. Two. Yes, it's a Blood Bowl uh, 2. What is this? I've done that a few hashtag, times. Hashtag Shubaton. That's a massive stun on that mummy. <laughs> oh That's God, exactly what the... Uh, he needed. Earlier yeah. needed, more or less. Because that mummy there is going to move. Not much. Should have been moved more. Yeah, but he's got some. I mean, he's got some. He's got some lads based as well here. He's going to have a massive dodge off with this wrestler, because uh, even just being able to push and follow gives him some room into that. It looks like he's actually giving him quite a bit of space on that side as well. I'm hoping to just kind of crawl in on him, I suppose, afterwards. But um, yeah. Well, he's managed to tie up everything. It's just whether he can get... So let's take this initial hit on the um, on the wrestler and see if he can get around the corner. Yeah, he's 100% going for it. Oh. Hmm, okay. 
Oh yeah, fair enough, because he could have he cleans the mats, that's much better. Yeah, yes, he frees the two dwarves there so they can move. Yeah. And at the same time tags the zombie with the guard. Mm -hmm. The white with guard is also tagged. The yeah, mummy is gonna be tagged. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty great. The other mummy is tagged, so there is a lot of tagging going on. Yeah. And there you go, there's gonna be a lot of space and not it's many like pieces. Watching Kabaddi. Do you know what I think he should have I think he should have mm -hmm. GFI'd with him? I think he should have moved mm -hmm. the moved the ball carrier first. And then yeah. GFI'd. Yeah. Okay. Oh Jesus, he has to reroll this because he gets yep. a zombie stuck on him from behind if he doesn't. Way. And who 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 wants that? Who wants that? Well it's a wrestle zombie as well, so it's actually a threat. Mm. There's the, not a, uh, there's not an exciting chain here because you can't get into there easily. I guess the Edge 5 mm -hmm. could do it. The Edge 5 could go in there, yeah. Well. And I guess you could have chained back him out to get mm -hmm. this guy free. There, there's things he could have done potentially, but difficult yeah. because they've got no edge and not a lot of movement. Probably just wants to dodge off that white as well. Yeah, and I, mean, I suppose he's just, you know, very conscious of the thing that he needed to do was to put the edge 5 directly into, into the middle of the thing, and I, <laughs> yes. I don't know that he wants to do that yet. Um, I mean... You know, for the purposes of winning this game and stopping the dwarf score, I think it might have been worth it. But, um, you know, it's hard to make that decision. Oh, a blockless block! A blockless block! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking in, in hysterics with the blockless dodge. <laughs> yeah, that was dodge. hilarious, wasn't it? <laughs> so good. Oh, I got a sound of I forgot to make. Yeah, there's a potential sound effect for the blockless dodge as well. Brilliant, brilliant. I have a potential sound of it. Oh! Well, okay, then this is where we're also it's, it's fine, yeah, he's, he's, but he is, uh, he's down to one now, and that one is, uh, well, his leader's been used, of course, but, um, yeah, down to one reroll here. Yeah, I've got a potential sound effect. You, you, you won't a be able to hear it. A blockless dodge! There you go. A blockless dodge! Potential. <laughs> Only just in range. Yeah, this is dodgy and only edge four. Yeah. And he can chain him back, can't he? I think so, yeah. Oh, he needs to... Ooh. Let's pause it. Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, seven, eight. So he so just, just needs to punch chain. that guy to... and then put a guy in there and then chain him, right? Yes. Yes, exactly. Mm. Will we see it? It doesn't look like it, no. Like it. I mean, you can do a decent screening as well. Maybe maybe the screen is better. Maybe the screen is better. I mean, you just guarantee that the guy's out of range, though, and you always you still have the screen in place if you make the punch. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, just didn't go for it at all. Mm. Strange not to have to put that guy in. Oh, he says he doesn't want to have a train back. Fucking Dimmy. Cheeky, Jimmy. cheeky Kaz. That's good job, Jimmy. Kick. Yeah, and now he's got a he's got a really good screen. Like he's got a better screen than he would have had if he'd gone for the the chain. But then obviously, mm. if the chain works, he's scored, hasn't he? He's stopped him. Oh, no, he's, I guess he's still got the glitz as an option for yeah. a handoff. So I guess, so I guess this this is maybe better. Okay, I mean it's still just trees, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. And this the, the, this guy oh. Wow. Oh, he's gone that way. He's gone that way instead. And that's his Wait, second last reroll. Yeah, I don't like that reroll. Why are you not tagging one of the dwarves there? So you just one dice this guy out yeah, of the way, I right? I don't understand what what he was doing. Though. And then just get out of the way. Yep. And yep. now he's just uh, three, three, some three. trees. Yeah, three, three, two. I mean, three, three, you got your last reroll, right? Oof. It's a little unlucky. It was a little unlucky, I think. Yeah. You know, that was okay defense, but again, it was like kind of wasn't enough, right? That's what I think I would have gone for this chain back just because. I agree, but, yeah. Just to get the guy out of range, like that's obviously more important, right? Yeah, he was 55% the score there, really. Yeah. So, you know, a bit unlucky. Hello, no, hey, Jose. Great to see you, buddy. Hello. One of my Irish boys. No, is he? Yeah. Glorious. Mm. I think a foul is coming. 
It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. It might be. Is he going to kill him? Oh, God, what a, what a kill this would be. That would be absolutely massive. And well done to him for seeing it as well. Has the bench and has everything. Well, Kyo it's a four Ulvia. plus to get him, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Huge. Huge. Absolutely huge. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> Gets him off. He does. Gets him off. <laughs> and can get an old passeru off as well. While he's at it. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Strange one to do it the other way around, though. The other girl needed the points. Yeah. More than that, uh, more than the agility guy. Yeah. Knocks oh, out, comes back. Point. Yep, yep. Huge, the mm -hmm. runner. Yeah. The runner, yes. That's the, 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 the piece that can make uh, Elliot win the game. Oh, and it's the undead as well. Today. So was my cock. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, well, oof is right. Now Elliot has to try again to stop an H5 go yeah. from scoring. Without a roller this time. Yeah, without a re-roll, without rollers. Without, yeah. Down Jesus. a man. Yeah. Lads, lads, lads. Down two How's Marzum? Great to see you, buddy. You done two men, nine <laughs> players on. Hola, dear good. Yeah, hello, that rat control, the cook. Yeah, we we'll, uh... like that. Kick off event, pack up everything, or we'll have a proper uh, extra time. Yeah, no. Ooh, well, it looks like he's setting up again. No, not so much. I was gonna say, it looks like he's just going to set up against the right of the uh, blitz, but he's he's doing a bit heavier than he needs mm. to on the line. Um, yeah, I, I mean they're not the most responsive race, but nevertheless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fair Fuck off, I mean, it's fair enough. This protects against like the perfect defense. Yes. A bit more, I mean so. the blitz of dwarfs. I mean, they move three and four. Right? <laughs> yeah, but it's, I like it though. I like I like that he respected the blitz more than a lot of people have done in Chalice. A hundred percent, yeah. Dimmy, there's a new funniest thing ever, Dimmy. Honestly, that that was brilliant. <laughs> do you want Do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. That's pretty good. Yeah, I can I can imagine I can imagine one of my <laughs> one of my Irish friends <laughs> doing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. It's a it's a, uh, yeah. That was the reason it was so funny because you do you do things abroad that you kind of take for granted at home, and it's like <laughs> probably shouldn't do these things. Uh, we used to play a game when we were kids called so Yellow Reg. So uh, the cars in England all have a yellow back plate. Yes. yes. The back plate on the car is yellow, and they're, they're not in Ireland, they're all white. So every time we'd see a yellow reg, because they'd be rare, you call yellow reg, and then you get to punch your friend in the arm. <laughs> right. Um, which is just like a thing that we all played when we were kids. Oh, and wow, stuff. the bribe fail. still do it now. Bribe fail is pretty massive. Yeah. Um, but I was, on, I was over, over in Bath, and I was uh, on a bus, and uh, I had my headphones on, and the guy said something over the... The driver said something over the tannoy, and I didn't hear it because I had my headphones on. So I took the earphones out and I tapped the guy in front of me and went, "What did he say?" Because I didn't hear it. And the guy goes, "Oh, I didn't hear him at all. I didn't hear what he said." And I was like, "Oh, you're Irish." And he was like, "Yeah." And I went, "Yellow edge." <laughs> and I gave him a dig in the arm, and then sat back, and the two of us were laughing. And then noticed the rest of the bus is just looking at us, going, "What the fuck is going on?" Brilliant. Perfectly normal conversation between our two Irish guys. Just said something to him, punched him in the arm, and now they're both laughing. <laughs> Not a jaundiced guy called Reginald. <laughs> God. Yellow car. Brilliant. Yes, uh, in Spain we also have something like that it's with yellow car or something like that, yeah. Mm. Nice. Yellow reg is much more sensible. John, this guy called Reginald is very funny. You could call him the Swarm Lord for <laughs> added laughs. What I really appreciate was the deadly silence that uh, happened at the end of that uh, fantastic anecdote. I mean, well, when I say now, you know, I, I, I don't want you know to beat down a man already down. <laughs> That's not like you at all. This is brutal, isn't it? Now for Elliot, yeah, he's got all these guys yeah, on the wrong side. How the hell can he do anything here? This is 
And if but I mean, he didn't have much. Maybe, maybe you could have set up deeper, like. But it's it's so hard, isn't it? Like the fact that this uh, mummy's got so advanced. Maybe he could, but he only had nine players. Like I, he shouldn't be. I I know Elliot, and I know <laughs> that if he loses mm. this game, he'll beat himself up to death about it. But I don't think he should. It's just not a lot you can do, is there, with nine players versus match five go. Mm. I don't hate the dodge off there with that guy that he just hit. Yeah. I don't hit the dodge off there. To do something yeah. happen because this, uh, the the five is gonna be very deep uh, on he's, the pitch. Yeah, he's very deep, deep now. He, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone now. It's he, yeah, this wasn't just, good enough from Elliot yeah. last time. No, I don't think I don't think so. I mean, really hard, right? There's no rerolls. You're gonna do some other stuff, and it would have been the blitz as well that he wanted to dodge that guy off for. So. Hmm. Yeah, like it's it's not it's really not a criticism of Elliot. He had nine players. Oh, nine, nine dwarves versus an Adj five. It's against an Adj five goal. Like, what the hell do you do? No rerolls. Yeah. Ooh, well, he can punch him next turn mm -hmm. if he leaves this. I mean, yeah, the, that's a nice zombie to stop the guy from inside the cage four plusing out, but. Um, he can hit this, can't he? One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. Not easily, is it? It's really hard. It's really hard. Because the stand firm stops, uh, stops any change. Oh, that's really annoying. Things. It's really hard to hit him. We can... Okay. That, that zombie's good because that makes the 5 plus for an uphill. This is but, a yeah, dodge and double the, GFI for an uphill. It's a dodge. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, guard, like the, everything was in the right yeah, spot. It's a really, really nice turn from... Uh, okay, cool. From Tacky 19. Tacky 19. Yeah. Here finish Elios 2 career on Chalice, yeah. yep. which, uh, funny enough, will be the man who has made more money on the Chalice in the last, uh, <laughs> I don't know, 47 seasons? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, about, about 20 odd, probably. <laughs> about 20 yeah. at least, because at least. he got the 100 subs for qualifying with a roller from yeah. uh, No Alius. Yeah. <laughs> So he's, he's the real winner of Chalice anyway, isn't he? Yes, <laughs> and even he better, the Chalice. first round exit means he has to play less Blood Bowls. This was a perfect yep. performance from Eliad. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty it's pretty textbook. So well done to Eliad. Uh, or sorry, commiserations to Eliad too. Uh, congratulations to Techie19. Um, yeah, as you said, uh, Eliad not having to play any more Blood Bowl. And uh, next Wednesday, we'll be able to queue in to watch him be completely disinterested as he reads four lists of uh, results. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be epic. I'll, yeah. I'll love watching those. <laughs> one nil, two nil, one nil, three four. Yeah. <laughs> Nelicius three. Really <laughs> Tech nineteen zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, Rollerdorf made it to Chalice. Well done, Noalius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I let you down, but uh, there you go. Right, and yeah. Yeah, come, yeah come, you've already said it. Thank you very much, Kalon. Thank you very much, Fimey. Absolutely glorious. Thanks for watching, Pleasure. everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.